Well, hey guys, you ever wondered why the DC current rating of a switch is far less than its AC rating? For example, this switch here, if I can focus in on that, it's rated 6 amps at 125 volts AC, but only half an amp, 125 volts DC. This switch here is rated at 11 amps, 125, 250, or 277 volts AC, but only half an amp at 125 volts DC and a quarter amp at 250 volts DC. Why is that? Well, the reason is DC arcs are very hard to quench. And let me give you a demonstration. But first, Oh, I could just click this thing all day. For this demo, I have the power supply set up in serial mode so that both channels are combined to give me 64 volts. 300 watt light bulb is connected in series. That's a 120 volt light bulb, by the way. And... We'll see what happens here. As you can see, I can get some very short arcs. And that would ruin the contacts of the switch. With higher voltages and currents, those arcs would sustain and you could switch the switch off and it would just continue arcing inside and burn up. So how can you switch moderate DC voltages at high current? Well, Omron make these special gas type relays. Inside of them is a special gas. I'm not sure the type of gas. It could be like sulfur hexafluoride. But again, I don't know exactly what they're using. But these can be used for switching moderate voltage DC high currents. Another way is to use a solid state type relay that could switch the load out before the mechanical switch opens the load. And a couple other things you might see on a switch like it says one-third horsepower. That just means the max motor load horsepower rating it can handle because motors require a heavy starting current and there might be some inductance involved as well. Down here it says 4 amps, 125 volts L. I believe that is a lamp or lighting load because tungsten, when it's cold, has a lower resistance and there'll be a surge current when it's first turned on. So you are limited at switching heavy currents. So to be safe, they limit the lighting load on this. Well, I hope this was at least some useful information for you. Thanks for watching. So how could you switch? 